Congressman Lloyd Doggett says the employee death at Austin Bergstrom International Airport Tuesday is tragic. My heart goes out for that family, uh, knowing that uh, this person was there trying to keep our airport safe and suffer loss of life and troubling uh, that this is the second one this year. In April, an American Airlines employee died when he crashed into a jet bridge. We've got an incredibly busy airport. Uh, it is the structure and the infrastructure, I think, is a bit overwhelmed out there. The second death happened on the same day Doggett renewed calls on social media for the Federal Aviation Administration to upgrade the airport's classification to increase staff levels and bring better pay and resources to the airport. Currently, Austin Airport's control tower is operating 40 percent below FAA standards. There is a shortage all over the country, and the high cost of living here in Austin uh, is affecting sometimes which controllers choose to come here. I want to see them to get the pay to draw the best controllers we can have and have the safest airport. In a statement, the airport says it appreciates the congressman's efforts and says it's committed to upholding safety across our airport alongside all our partners as we work to support the increased demand for air travel. Earlier this month, the airport broke records with travelers coming and leaving following the Formula One Grand Prix. District 2 City Council member Vanessa Fuentes, whose district contains the airport, says she'll be filing a resolution Friday to support Doggett's calls to Congress. Also to look at what can we be done, doing at the local level. So there are a few things that we can institute at the airport that we have control over, and that's what my resolution seeks to do. Doggett says he doesn't feel unsafe, but he knows things could be safer. It's an airport that uh, I feel confident flying in and out of twice a week, but I want to see improvements so that everyone will be safe. No more near misses. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.